Representative Piscopo of the 76th. Do you have the floor, sir? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I wanted to uh, express my sympathy and love for the Rep family. Uh, the Rouettes and Piscopos go way back, and uh, my, my dad actually served with Joe in the Mescal administration, and they became very, very close friends. And I think it was uh, like maybe a, within five minutes after my first election, I was told to look up Joe Rouette, so I, and I did, and I was very, very happy to. Uh, you remember those that helped you out early in your career, and I'll never forget Joe. He was just such a great guy. He was a great mentor. Because... Thomaston and Torrington are pretty close together. We, we went to the same kind of uh, events together, and he really, really helped me out a lot. And, and he was just so kind, and he was so uh, willing and ready with advice. Uh, in the Florida House, he sat in the back row here, and so many times I, I'd go over, go back there and say, Joe, what's going on? You know, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to talk? What's, what's happening here? And he'd always give me, he'd always let me know what was going on. And within one sentence, it was always one sentence from Joe, and he'd let me, he'd just sum it right up and let me know what was going on. I, uh, I, I, I didn't get the corn, but I remember strawberries, and they were really, really good. Uh, I just, I just, uh, just really loved Joe Rouette. He was a, a dear friend. Uh, he was the definition of a gentleman, a uh, farmer, and a good legislator, and I will miss him. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Representative Piscopo.